Hey out there Bubble Tube fans, Professor Bubble here, and today I'm going to try to guess German Pokemon names from Generation Thrive. Ein, zwei, drei. Apparently I can't count in German, but that's okay. My first one is Flemly. Flemly. Nothing comes to mind. Flem like ha, like spit? Or Flem Lee? Nope, nothing comes to mind. So I'm gonna read a hint. The first hint is give it a hug, it will be glowing with warmth. So I'm guessing it's a fire Pokemon, and if you're giving something a hug, it's probably Slugma? Because Slugma looks like mucus. Don't know if I'm right. Next hint. It is covered in a full coat of down. So that makes me think of ducks. I don't think there is any Gen 3 ducks. Is there? I, I'm just gonna go with Slugma and see what happens. Oh, the answer is Torchic. That makes sense. I guess down you could make it from chicken feathers. Man, Flamly comes from the word flammy, which is a play on the word flame. So maybe if I knew that, I would have had a better guess. Next one, Muntir. Muntir. My first guess is Huntail. I don't know why, it just sounds like that to me. Muntir. Okay, so, no. Mund? Or is it like a munchlax? Or, no idea. Mund? Or is it talking about a mountain? There's just so many options because I don't know German. Let's take a look at the first clue. It is simply incapable of staying still. So it's probably Spoink because if it stays still, its heart stops beating. Morbid, I know. I'm gonna go with Spoink. My other guess is Vigoroth because Vigoroth has the vital spirit and it just keeps on moving. Hit number two, it is always hungry. I, I'm guessing it's Munchlax then. Maybe, maybe I'll go back to Munchlax. Although Munchlax is lazy, so it would not be incapable of not moving. I'm gonna guess Vigoroth because Vigoroth makes sense to me that it would want to be eating because it's growing, and two, it wants to keep on moving because of its ability vital spirit. And out of the three of its evolutionary line, it's the only phase in which it like has to be moving. Vigoroth, yes! Let's find out a fun fact about it. Montier stems from the word munter, which means lively, and voltier, which means sloth. So, a lively sloth. Which makes sense because I'm both short and tall at the same time. Frizzleblez. <laughs> Frizzleblez. Frizzleblez? <laughs> makes me want to eat french fries. My first thought is that it's probably an electric type because it has the blez, which kind of makes me think of blitz. Um, and Zeds in, for some reason in German, make me think of lightning. Not sure why. And fry, because when you electrocute something, you, you fry it. So a Gen 3 monster that is an electric type. Uh, probably Manectric. Hint number one, it makes a cracking sound when it runs. Why, why would it make a cracking sound? Maybe that's because it's a rock type? and rocks crack when they move? Or maybe I'm just wrong. <laughs> I'm still gonna go with Manectric or Electric. Yeah, one of those ones. Hint number two. It stores electricity in its fur. Definitely on the right track. Manectric, Manectric, has a mane full of electricity. Manectric? <laughs> I can't even see the names in English. It's electric. I mean, I'm gonna give myself points because I was like in the ballpark of its evolutionary line. Let's take a look at a fun fact. According to my friend who wrote this for me, Frizzel Bliz is a combination of the word Frizzle, which is an onomatopoeia for a spark, and Blitz is lightning. So I was actually onto something and my limited knowledge of German actually helped me out. Good for me. Next one, groink. Groink sounds like spoink, or grumpig. I'm gonna go with spoink. Let's see what it says. Hint number one. 
It has a pearl on its body. Yep, I'm gonna go with Spoink. Spoink has a pearl on its body. And not a pearl necklace. Hint number two. It controls enemies by doing weird dance steps. I don't know if Spoink dances. Maybe it's Grumpig after all. Let's see. Yes, it was Grumpig. Uh, its name comes from Grunzen, which is the German word for grunt, and put together with oink. Grozoink. Snort oink. Oink. <laughs> Zengo. Zengo? Okay. Right off the bat, it sounds like a psychic type. So, uh, maybe Ralts? I'm gonna go with Ralts, just preliminarily. See what the first hint is. Walks on all four, but fights on two legs. Fuck. <laughs> I have no idea. Ralts does not walk on all four. Um, what walks on all four but fights on two? Surskit? No. I am stumped right now. Four legs. Next clue is hates snakes. I'm going with Zangoose, because Zangoose hates snakes. The answer is Zangoose! Yes! Pretty good, not bad. Let's check out a fun fact. Its name is taken from the word sense, so scythe, and mungo, which is mongoose. So it is a sensing goose. It sends hatred for snakes. Sea mops. <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong. Sim, sim mops. Okay, if I say it like that, sea mops. It's not sea mops, it's not English, it's probably sea, sea mops, sea mops. I, I want to say dustclops, but it's probably not. Mostly because it's not from Gen 3, is it? Hit number one, it rolls instead of walking. Ghosts don't roll, so it's not that. So I'm guessing it's going to be a ground or a rock type. But what would roll instead of walk? My first thought was Graveler, but that's just not Gen 1. My next thought was Donphan, but that's Gen 2. My first thought is Shellgon because it is able to roll, but I know that it can just roll? I guess it could be Boltoy, but Boltoy spins. It doesn't roll. Rolling isn't giving me anything I want. The only other Pokemon I can think that can like be somewhat spherical and roll around is like, like C dot? Probably not. Second hint, isn't very good at swimming. So it's something heavy, like Laron maybe? Sveal. I guess Sveal is spherical and it would roll, but um, yeah, that, uh, that took me for a turn because I'd imagine a water Pokemon wouldn't be bad at swimming. And here's the fun fact about it. It is a combination of the German word Seehund, which means seal, and Mops, which means pug. <laughs> Making a seal pug. The word Seehund itself comes from two words, Sea, meaning lake, and Hund, meaning hound. Making Sea Mops a water dog dog. How redundant. The next one is Tendulist. Tangulist. Tangulist. <laughs> it's like make sounds and hope it makes something out. It sounds like it's grass. Vines of some sort. There's not many new grass types in that generation. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Nuzleaf. Just because. Next clue. Well, first clue. Has fantastic hair. I think Nuzleaf has beautiful hair. But what has even more beautiful hair is Evolution Shift Tree. I'm gonna go with Shift Tree, but let's take a look at the next clue. Its shoes are built into its feet. Yep, Shift Tree. It has those like traditional Japanese shoes. I forget what they're called. Tengu? No, I'm making that word up. And uh, that's what its feet are. And um, they use them for walking on spikes and other kinds of traps because it wouldn't affect you. I don't know if that's what I actually used them for, but one time I read in a Dragon Ball manga and that's what Goku did before he could fly. The answer is Shift Tree. I was right. 
Let's take a look at the fun fact. From the Japanese mythical creature Tengu, that's where I got the Tengu part from apparently, and the German word list, meaning cunning or deceitful. Guess that's why it's a dark type. Hmm. Knospi. K no spy. <laughs> Knospi. It sounds psychic. I'm guessing it's a psychic Pokemon. Now can it be Ralts? I hope he has Ralts on this. Clue number one. Does not like the cold. Slugma. If Slugma goes in the cold, it dies. Is Slugma Gen 2? <laughs> Second clue. It can induce harsh sneezing and runny noses. So is it a grass type? Like like spores? Like shroomish? Maybe it's shroomish. Yeah, well. Sure. I'm gonna go with shroomish. Ah, the answer is Buddu. Wait. Uh pretty sure Buddu is not generation three, but generation four? My friend doesn't know Pokemon that well. Ninja Tom. Uh, it's either Ninja or Shed Ninja, so we'll just go with that. Let's take a look at the clues. Clue number one: It never moves its body. Shed Ninja is definitely not something that moves. It's just a hollow casket. Hint two: It has wings, but it doesn't use them to fly. I'm gonna go with, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Shed Ninja, and the answer is Shed Ninja. Ding ding! If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. There are other generations I've done, Gen 2 and Gen 1. And just for fun, if you want to give me some Gen 3 names in the comments below with some hints, I will do my best to guess them. This has been Professor Baba, signing out.